Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for this unboxing video of the Street Fighter shoes by Reebok. Package is simple on the outside, just a cardboard box, but I'm going to open it up and show you what I got. So specifically, I purchased the M. Bison pair in adults, men, 10 and a half size. So let's see, oh cool, that's a nice box. Reebok logo, Street Fighter logo. It's a part of the 35th anniversary that Capcom has been doing. There you see USA 10.5 size. These are the Workout Plus men's shoes. I thought the Street Fighter line was pretty cool. It was kind of interesting. Each shoe was a different type of shoe that Reebok existingly had. And then you just had the character kind of based around that shoe, some different color scheme, like Gil from Street Fighter 3, for instance. One shoe was red, one was blue, kind of like that fire ice combination. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Ryu's shoe, my favorite character, was white and kind of tattered up material, had some insignia on the back. Uh, Chun-Li's was, you know, appropriately themed blue with some yellow and some white. Ken's was mm, red and black as was akuma's we had dollism in there cami i think that might be it i went with m bison i thought that these shoes probably looked the best maybe i don't know but i'm curious to see what they're like i'm a big street fighter fan and it is the 35th anniversary going on right now i've seen capcom team up with uh geez transformers there are street fighter toys out there skateboards of course exist I just finished the Street Fighter 6 beta test for the second time in the second closed beta and oh it was it was great. The competition has gone up significantly. Pretty tough battles online, but it was fun. Oh cool. And we've got this dang that's a nice shoe. That looks better in person than it did online. I'm glad I went with these. Wow. Get lost. You can't compare with my powers. Uh, that's a cool one. I don't know if you could read that, but that's nice. It's got some of that psycho power energy at the top and inside. On the inside, inside, you have M. Bison himself. And yeah, you got purple and pinkish kind of hues there. How much were these shoes? I think they were $100 flat. So, you know, uh, fairly priced. Looks like good quality, different um, types of rubber and velvet and... Uh, whatever else <laughs> the shoe is made out of it, but there's got some different check textures to it. That's the left shoe. Let's we'll see, the right one is the same. Get lost, you can't compare with my powers. Yeah, so on the inside of both shoes, you've got that. Oh yeah, and you've got the Shadow Law or Shadow Lou logo on the back. That's pretty sweet. And okay, so on the inside of this shoe, it says fight. So that's that. Yeah, I try to get... A pair of video game shoes mm, when it's linked up to a franchise that I enjoy. You know, I have the Super Mario 64 shoes from Puma. I have the Mario shoes from, oh, gosh, it was Vans back in the day. The Fila crossover with Sonic the Hedgehog. I also have some Street Fighter shoes that exist before this. One of them is a custom one. Actually, they're both custom ones, come to think of it. But, yeah, these are official as part of that 35th anniversary celebration. And I think they're pretty neat. Shout outs to Neil McDonough and Bison in the Street Fighter Legend of Chun-Li movie. I say that because uh, I met him at the Street Fighter Four Hollywood launch party. He was in the VIP section as was I because I was a character in Street Fighter Four the game. And yeah, he made a cool M. Bison in that movie. And then he was also at my bachelor party uh, several years later, so. This is your shoe, Neil. Um, as you can see, yeah. If I didn't show you my shirt, got Ken, Ryu, Sagat, and got how to do a shoulder you can or a tiger uppercut. I'm going to wear these. I'm going to put them on right now and go about my business wearing these. And maybe I'll come back later on with feedback of like, are they actually comfortable? Do they make a good shoe? Because so far, all of the video game shoes that I have purchased have been good. And yeah, I will probably continue buying more in the future but yeah what do you think do you have any questions about them in particular did you buy any shoes yourself and maybe i'll hold them like this and this will be the photo that i use take a good screen grab all right and let's see that looks good all right 
Okay, <laughs> this is Paul Gale from Paul Gale Network signing out. This was a short video, but thanks for watching. And uh, happy 35th anniversary to Street Fighter. Thank you, Capcom. See you around. Bye.